Okay guys, enough has been said and talked about MBA and whether you guys should do an MBA or not do an MBA. There are people who will say you guys should definitely do an MBA because it opens up thousands of gates of opportunities for all you people. It helps you network and creates a safety net, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, there are others who will say, please don't do an MBA because the cost of MBA colleges is rising. Placements are shitty. There's hardly anything new to learn. All these things are there. Obviously, I'm not going to get into that debate right now in this video of whether you guys should do an MBA or not. But that is exactly where I got the idea of this particular video. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video right now, you might be somebody who is in your undergrad college or somebody who's in class 11th and 12th and you're consuming all of this content of whether you guys should do an MBA, not do an MBA, blah, blah, blah. And you might actually be at a fence or whether you should do an MBA or not. Guys, in this particular video, I will assume that each one of you is watching this video right now is not planning to do an MBA. And if you guys are not planning to do an MBA, what are the career options and possibilities do you have? What is the kind of career you all can build for yourself without doing an MBA? Guys, in this particular video, I'm going to cover five career professions that you all can do without doing an MBA. And trust me, guys, the fourth and the fifth one will literally blow your mind. I will be giving you each and every detail of these career professions from the requirement to the skills that you need to the salary or the money you can make all of that. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first one which has become really famous in the past few years is entrepreneurship. I guess in today's time, everybody wants to become an entrepreneur. I don't know whether it's because of Shark Tank or so many of the startups going to the IPO route, whether it's Policy Bazaar, Zomato or whatnot, you all want to be an entrepreneur and ultimately that should be the dream of everybody. I believe that in order for you to become an entrepreneur, you don't need an MBA. Whether you take an example of the founders of Zepto or Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos, none of these people come from an MBA background. And that is precisely the reason why I'll very openly tell you that in order for you to become an entrepreneur, you don't need an MBA. All you need to do is look at a problem which you can solve in your own way or have a value proposition that you know in order for you to add value simply if you can add value in somebody else's life and they are willing to pay you for that that's entrepreneurship now that could be business trading or you coming up with a very unique and classy ai tool all of that is entrepreneurship guys as far as the skills that are required in order for you all to become entrepreneurs you need to have really good problem solving skills you need to have business acumen and strategy and number three, you should have a leadership mindset. As far as the salary of an entrepreneur is concerned, I will not get into that debate because it's very controversial in nature. But I'll be very realistic with my numbers. I'll be honest, for the first few years, you might not get any money. But obviously, later on, if the company grows, you guys will make good amount of money. So I'm not going to tell you exact number in this particular profession. But money can be good if you obviously reach a certain scale and height. Even if you're having a small entrepreneurship venture, you guys still can be paid well. Second one is chief of staff or a founder's office. Now, what exactly does a chief of staff or a founder's office role mean is that you will be shadowing the founder or the CEO of the particular company and you will be executing a lot of the strategies on the behalf of the founder because founder is juggling through multiple roles and multitasking all the very time. So if you people become chief of staff or in the founder's office, you will be doing a lot of the things on behalf of the founder. Now guys, I've already made a very detailed video on the founder's office role or chief of staff role. So please make sure you go check it up. Trust me, you guys will get to learn so much by watching that particular video. Now, a lot of you people might be really confused that, hey, coverage, what are the kind of companies that are offering chief of staff or a founder's office role? Trust me, guys, in today's time, all the major startups in the country have a founder's office role or a chief of staff role. So whether they're companies like Cred, Zomato, Razorpay, Urban Company, Misho, Unacademy, Aether Energy, all of them have founder's office role. And another very good part is that a lot of these companies do not require you to come from an MBA background in order for you to be a part of their team in the founder's office which again is a really good thing. Talking about the skills that are required in order for you to be a chief of staff or in a founder's office role, you need to have multitasking skills, project management skills and strategic thinking skills. As far as the salaries are concerned for somebody at an entry level role without an MBA background, your salary can be 8 to 14 lakhs per annum for a chief of staff role. Third career profession that you can choose is of a marketing specialist. Now guys, the moment I use the word marketing specialist from my mouth, whether it's in these videos or in my personal guidance and doubt training session, Everybody comes back with the same question that, hey, Kavach, do we not need an MBA in order to get into the role of marketing and blah, blah, blah? Guys, the simple answer to that question is a big fat no. No, guys, you don't need to come from an MBA background, business background, BBA background in order for you to be in a marketing role. And in fact, trust me, guys, funny anecdote. 
half of the people who are running the marketing in marketing of top companies in today's time literally come from an unrelated roles and they are still able to do marketing ultimately all you need to do in order to build your career as a marketing specialist is to please develop and oversee multiple campaigns in order for companies to build up their brands and drive sales simple as that as long as you are creative you come up with new ideas you can do market analysis all these things will really help you become a marketing specialist as far well as the skills that are required in order for you to become a marketing specialist guys you need to learn how ads work so performance marketing is something you really need to learn whether it is the meta ads or the google ads you need to know how they run secondly you need to have market analysis skills so you should be able to conduct like tam and everything like that thirdly you need to be really very creative and come up with great ideas as far well as the salary is concerned the salary for an entry level role can somewhere be between 4 to 10 lakhs per annum fourth one and like i said it will literally blow your mind guys it is podcasting some of you might be confused at hey kavaj why are you mentioning podcasting but trust me guys podcasting is one of the most growing career professions in india right now i was reading it somewhere i don't remember where but it said that the podcasting industry in india right now is a 300 crore market which is growing at a 20% cagr per annum all you people who are watching this video right now can literally become really good podcasters you can experiment with various platforms whether it's youtube spotify apple podcast what not in fact you can also experiment with different genres whether it's crime tech business self help what not obviously each one of us today is hooked on to watching various podcasts my personal favorites are the diary of a ceo joe rogan ranveer alabadia barber shop by shantanu nikhil kamat raj shamani all of these people we all are watching and consuming the same content but trust me guys you can be the next joe rogan or ranveer alabadia or raj shamani if you just start by podcasting there are multiple revenue streams that you can build in your podcasting business as far as the skills are concerned in order for you to become a good podcaster you need to have really good communication skills you need to build up really good networking skills and you need to have good research skills guys as far as the salary is concerned literally sky is the limit i told you 300 crore is the market but i am being very realistic with my numbers in all the professions that i mentioned right now so for a decent level podcast you all can make easily about 20 to 30000 per episode obviously this can go way higher or it cannot even reach this limit depending on the scale and the viewership that you build up but there is no harm in trying and starting with podcasting trust me you guys can build up an amazing audience for yourself fifth and the last career profession is event management and event planning now i know some of you might say are but bhaiya hame to band baaja barat karna nahi hai we don't want to be made in heavens why are you mentioning that in this particular video but trust me guys in today's time these career professionals are earning a lot more of money than the ones who are sitting in fancy offices now obviously it's very debatable in nature so i'm not going to get into that but i'm being very honest with you people in today's time are willing to pay any amount of money in order to experience a good event or in order to build up or you know experience something new or different so whether it's a wedding or an anniversary or a bachelor or a proposal or a corporate event or any unique celebration 40th birthday 50th birthday 20th birthday you all can chip in have a good value proposition and build a good business for that people are going crazy when it comes to spending for experiences and making the other person or other member of the family feel really special and if you guys can build a business around it you guys will thrive as far as the skills that are concerned for this career profession you need to have organization skills vendor management skills creativity and you need to have really good negotiation skills as far as the salary is concerned again there is literally no range because if you have a company of your own like a wedding film or something you guys can be making huge amount of money whereas if you're working with somebody you might not make that kind of money but for an initial level role suppose you're working with someone i think 6 to 10 lakhs is something per annum you can expect and again sky is the limit So yes guys that's about it for this particular video thank you so much for watching this video till the very end if you like this kind of content make sure you give me a thumbs up do comment below and let me know if you want me to create a part 2 for the same guys i'm working really hard in order to come up with really unique content for all you people please share this with your friends family members do not forget to follow me on instagram linkedin and do not forget to press the bell icon and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you all with another video take care guys bye bye